Hi, everybody. How y'all doing? Y'all doing okay? Good. Jumping right into it. Are relaxers causing us cancer? I know you all been hearing about it. It seems like it's everywhere now. And they are directing this toward African-American women, especially. They are saying that we are putting ourselves at a greater risk for cancer, cervical, as well as breast cancer, by putting relaxers in our hair. So what do you all think? What are we supposed to do? Well, I'm going to tell you what I did. And that is research. And that's what I encourage anybody that's looking at this video to do your own research. Don't take my opinion or my judgment. Don't substitute that for your own opinion and your own judgment based on the research that you've done for yourself. So I'm going to put this disclaimer out right now. First, I wrote some notes down because I found out a lot of stuff. But I want to make, make this disclaimer. First, I'm not a trichologist. I am not a trichologist. I'm not a cosmetologist. I am not a doctor. So when you look at this video, again, make your choice based on your own research. I'm going to tell you the choice that I made based on my own research. Okay. All righty. Let me tell you the reaction that I had when I first um, just really pay, start paying attention to this, you know, this information that they're saying, putting out that, that relaxers cause us cancer. I first said, oh, here you go again. Everything is, every time I turn around, everything is causing cancer. From some of the foods that we eat, to some of the foods, the way we process our foods, even like, uh, you know, they were saying you smoke your food, you barbecue your food, certain things can, every time I turn, sweeteners for your coffee cause cancers. Uh, cancer, rather. And then, y'all, what about Deodorant have cancer causing chemicals in it. So, so what are we supposed to do? Walk around musty and stinking. So it's like I first got irritated and then I just dismissed it. No, I ain't paying no attention to them. They always tell my something cause cancer. But then based on so many, I mean, it's everywhere. And some of the information that I'm listening to, I said, hmm, well, you know what? I might want to do my own research because if it does cause cancer, then I may have to make some changes in what I do to my hair. And that's why I have my hair done. You all know who part of my village. You all know that I have my hair in a bun and a ponytail. But I did this on purpose today. So let me just refer to this again. I have been getting relaxers in my hair ever since I was a teenager. And probably before I became even 13. So that... Is I'll just tell you, in three years, I'm going to be 60 years old. So that means for over 50 years of my life, I have been relaxing my hair. I've been putting those chemicals in my hair. So that's a long time to be relaxing your hair, to have these chemicals in your hair, to then all of a sudden... All of this rush to, you know, or this push to, oh, you all need to stop using these relaxers because they really are damaging. Now, some people may say, no, they have said this for years, but not the way they are saying it now. Do you all agree with me? Not the way they are saying it now, talking about these relaxers. So, and let me just say this also, men, don't click off this video because I have some questions for you at the end. And women, don't just look at the video and don't get into the com the uh, conversation because I promise you, I really, really want to have a conversation with you all. So after you hear the video, you look at the video, tell me what you think. Honestly, give me your honest opinion, what you think based on what you heard or what you researched. OK, uh, one of the things that they said, first of all, is no, no uh, lie versus lie. So if you use a relaxer that has lie in it or one that has no lie in it. Now, this is what I learned that the none, the no lie relaxer is always going to be the better choice for your scalp. Uh, they said the, the, the one with lie in it, in addition to all the other things, the other chemicals that that is really damaging to your scalp. And uh, so number one, 
from my research, and I'm not getting to all the technical things or technicalities every, but I'm just going to tell you my the basis. I did get technical, but I, for, this is a video. I'm not going to give you all this information. And I want you to do your own research too. I really do. So no lie versus lie. I always do no lie anyway. So I'm glad to find out that that is the better, that is the better choice. Also, sometimes we can say, well, I got really coarse hair. You know, I need a strong relaxer. So then we say, I need a super. Mm -mm. Again, from my research, no one needs to put a super on their hair. I don't care how coarse texture your hair is. Super is too much for any of us. So that is what I learned. Okay. And so, you know, you don't need a super strength. I don't need a super strength. And I have not. When I was younger, guess what? I thought that too, because I was like, hey, uh, I guess I got this hair. And so I need some some power behind my relaxer. So I used to use super. Then I found out years later that no, you don't use just use a regular regular relaxer. That's that'll do it. And and it has as far as straightening, getting my hair straight. But one of the things that I found out was that one of the chemicals that stood out to me in relaxers, y'all, formaldehyde. I don't know if you all know this, but, uh, and I'm sure some of you do. I'm sure most of you do. Formaldehyde is what they put in like embalming fluid uh, for, I'll just say, people who are no longer living. Okay? Because like I said, people get kind of offended by that D word. So they put it in people who are no longer living. So why is formaldehyde put in my relaxer? So that I can put on my head. And I already know the what it does to a, a body. That was one thing. And then another thing that I found out was that that's just one of the chemicals. But so many chemicals that if you look at your, your, your box that you put your relaxer in, that you get your relaxer out of, look at all them chemicals. A lot of them you, we don't pay our attention to because we can't even pronounce most of them. But if you take each one of those chemicals and research it, you are going to be blown away. Do your research. Now, I'm going to tell you this. After doing my research, oh, and I want to say this too. I, that's why I say it's always good to write things down. This video is not about team natural, team relaxer. I don't, I don't give it, I don't really, I don't subscribe to any of that because to me, that team natural and that team uh, uh, relaxer, it's to me, it's propaganda. It's just another way to divide us as people, especially as African-American people. It's another way. It's almost like the light skin, dark skin thing. I, I don't subscribe to that. So that is not what this video is about. This video is about, I, this is serious because this is about my health. What am I doing to myself putting this relaxer in my hair? This is what this video is about. Now, based on... Um, my research, and believe me, I did some research. I did not take this lightly. I did not. I'm not going to put a relaxer in my hair again, ever. My hair is relaxed. My I take care of this relaxed hair. I mentioned to you all before about my, my, my uh, hair care routine. I make sure I keep my hair conditioned. Okay, doing all of that, taking care of this hair, what about the relaxer that I'm putting in it? What is it doing to me? What is it doing to one? What is it doing to me? Went to my no hair. What is it doing to me? So I made the choice that I'm never putting a relaxer in my hair again. And I also made this choice because if you know I'm I have a relaxer, and so if I don't put a relaxer in my hair in the next month or so, the new growth is gonna come in, right? So then what am I going to do? I'm going to give myself a few months so that I can get a certain amount of a certain inch amount of inches of new growth. 
which is just the normal natural hair that comes out of my, sc my scalp. And then all of this is getting cut away. All of it. I'm not keeping any of it. So when they say a teeny weeny <laughs> natural, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm so serious about this. And I'm going to do it in front of you all. I'm going to do it on my channel. So if you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I also want to say this. I did some soul searching when I started doing this research. And I found some things about, I found out some things about me that I didn't even, I didn't know. First, I told you ever since I was, well, I say twi I was a teenager, a young girl. I've been putting relaxers in my hair. So we can say that a lot of times we put relaxers in our hair because we have kinky or nappy hair that comes out of our scalp for most of us. Now, some of us have a different texture of hair, whatever, it's a little more manageable. But for most of us as African-Americans, we have kinky or nappy hair. And can you imagine having to comb that hair, you know, or um, maintain that hair on a daily basis? It can even be, you know, we can be find ourselves squinting because it's, it's painful. So then you also have to say, um, it's it just so many things. If you don't want it to be in, uh, in that uh, kinky state, what you would do is then you go get your hair pressed or you go get it straightened. But guess what? It don't hardly last long because you can't get wet if you want to go. If don't let it rain and you got your, you just got natural hair, you got it straightened. It, it's not going to last. So you have to keep on getting it straightened. And then what is, then you, then I'm telling you, it's a, it's a gamut of things. Then if you keep straightening it, it can also get heat damaged, you know? So there, and so, but we have a relaxer. Hey, you put your relax in your hair, your hair is straight. You can get it wet. It's still going to be straight. So, and then it don't hurt to comb it. You know, it combs easily. It don't hurt to comb it. So the relaxer seemed like that's the way to go. But that's not what I learned about myself. I learned that there is another reason that I use a relaxer. And I shocked myself too. I'm being honest with you all. We're along, along the line that I determined or that I figure to myself, you know, uh, I say, where, where did I conclude that having my hair straight was better than having it like it is when it just grow out of my scalp? And I'm take away the, it's easy, all the other things, easy to manage, but there's something else behind that for me. Because when you see long, straight, silky looking hair, it's like, oh, that looks good. I want when you press my hair, I want you to get it silky straight. Who told me that straight was the prettiest and the kinky was ugly or less attractive? Work subconsciously, really think about it, ladies. We having a we having a honest conversation. Where, where do we get that from? Yeah. We could have be we could be affected by that in more ways than not. I I thought about this and I wrestled with it because I'm like, no, that's not me, because I don't really care about hair. And I I put my hair in the pot. I don't really care. Yes, I do. Because why is it, why did I want to dismiss? And I'm not, I have to have me a relaxer. If I don't have a relaxer, I'm gonna be. If I don't have a relax, I'm going to look what? Unattractive? If my hair is kinky like it is in its natural state, then that's not better or that's not uh, equal to when it's long and flowy because I have a relaxer in there. Who told me that? Where I learn it? Where do we learn it, ladies? This is our health, and I think we should take it seriously. Again, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a consumer. I'm a, young, I'm a woman just like you all. I'm just trying to figure this out. And for me, this is the conclusion I came to. 
and it's it got to go. It got to go. Now, men, this is where you come in. Another reason that we women hang on to this hair because you men love it. You love it. You love it long and flowing. And you just look at it. And, oh, look, she got long, pretty hair. You all love it. And that's okay. <laughs> I'm not bashing you all. You love it. So give me your opinion in the comments. Please give me your opinion. And don't give me no cookie cutter opinion. Don't give me no polit politically, politically correct opinion. I want to know your honest opinion. This is the question. What did you what do you prefer? You prefer your lady to have long, straight, curly, beautiful hair? Or do you do you prefer your lady to have kinky, natural, beautiful hair? Because see, that's the thing. It's beautiful hair. What do you prefer? And why? Tell me why. So I'm going to get off this video now, get off this camera rather, but I really want you all to have a conversation. I want us to have a conversation. I know people who I, I take it seriously because cancer is nothing to play with, you know, and they say, you don't live your, you're not supposed to live your life so horrible, so horrified and terrified and scared about everything. That's true. But you also be, you're supposed to be smart, you know? You, you and you have to okay okay let me take this in consideration you don't just want to walk around and, oh i like it so i'm not, no be smart about things so ladies tell me what is your choice what are you going to do after doing your research or did you already do your research what are you thinking about all this stuff that they're talking about because there's something to it okay so talk to me in the comments be nice. Just give me your honest opinion. Okay? Thank you all so much for watching this video. You have a good day. Stay tuned. And just, oh, I also want to say this. See, again, I didn't write this down. Ladies, when I was reading about, when I was doing my research about this uh, relaxer uh, issue, they talked about scalp, scalp, and how things can go into your scalp, to your bloodstream. We know that is the truth. But one of the things that I noticed, ladies, you tell me this. Do you notice the same thing? Sometimes my scalp hurts. Sometimes there's pain. Not to my, when I'm doing my relaxer. I'm not to my burn it because I know how to put a relaxer in. I've been doing it for years. I know how to put the technique to put my relaxer in, not to cause me to burn. But I'm talking about just irritation from the scalp and that's if I can still have done my just sometimes that happen and it's like it, it happens quite often where my scalp is just sore and irritated and almost seem inflamed do you have that experience sometimes okay let me know in the comments so now I will say thank you so much for watching my video if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you like this information and you, you are waiting to see that big chop because I'm telling you it's coming, I'm not going back. I'm doing this and I'm doing it for me. Uh, subscribe, to, subscribe, uh, la, 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 la. subscribe to the channel, okay? So I'm going to tell you all, have a good day and do it on purpose. Bye, y'all. See you soon.